क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर नाउ इट इज सेम एज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नाउ वी डोंट नीड टू ड्रो नाउ वी कैन गेस व्हाट वी कैन डू आई मीन वी नो व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन पी मिड पॉइंट ऑफ पी क्यू एंड इफ यू रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड वी वांट टू गेट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ पी क्यू एंड द परपेंडिकुलर ग्रेडियंट and we can write the equation same as q and r then we get another equation when we solve those two equation we will get the midpoint we will get the center so we'll follow that midpoint of pq is minus 11 Plus minus six divided by two, eight plus minus seven divided by two. So this might be minus seventeen over two, and this is half. Radian of P Q equal eight minus minus seven. Y one minus y two, x one minus six. This is fifteen. Uh, this is minus five. This is minus three. Fifteen divided by five, minus three. Now. This is P Q. I know the midpoint. I will take this one is L. So M P Q times M L one equal uh, minus one. M P Q mean minus three times M L one equal minus one. M L N one equal uh, one over third. So now this gradient is one over third. This point is this one. Now the equation we can write y minus y one m times x minus x one y minus half a equal m times one over third times x minus uh, sorry yeah minus seven seventeen over two y minus half equal One over third x plus seventeen uh, over two times one third. Y minus half equal one third over x plus seventeen over six. Y equal one third over x plus half. This is going to be six. I want to make six multiply by three multiply by three. Y equal one third over x seventeen over six plus twenty uh, over six. Y equal one third over x plus ten over three. So this is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Now we are going to find the perpendicular bisector of QR. This is L two. So mid point is uh, minus six plus four divided by two minus seven minus seven divided by two. This is going to be minus two over two mean minus one. This is Minus fourteen over two, mean minus seven. Now, um, I notice the y value is same. It mean uh, this is zero x. This is Uh, so this is y equal 
minus 7 this is minus 7 this is y equal minus 7 line so this is uh, minus 6 minus 6 this point is minus 6 minus 7 and this point is 4 7 now uh, so this is pq it means we know that um, the perpendicular line going to be parallel to y axis now i want to find the midpoint so midpoint minus 6 minus 4 and also minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 it means midpoint is this is going to be minus 1 Uh, minus 1 minus 7 then this equation is x equal minus 1 hence the perpendicular bisect is parallel to y axis the equation of this one is x equal minus 1 this is x equal minus 6 lines this is x equal uh, 4 lines so this is x equal minus one line. So the perpendicular bisector uh, L2 is, uh, L. this is L1, L2 is x equal minus one. Now I have to solve this, uh, those two lines to uh, get the center. So when I solve simultaneously, y equal one third over x mean minus one plus ten over three minus one over three ten over three mean nine over three which is three so minus one three is the intersection point also we know that this intersection point is going to be the center now x minus minus 1 square plus y minus uh, 3 square equal r square x plus 1 square plus y minus 3 square equal r square now i know center i can take any point so what is the best point and number 4 no positives both now okay i will go for 4 7 the small numbers so I will take four, C, 4, 7 and center, uh, center P, minus 1, 3. Now radius R, which is the distance, 7, uh, X1 minus X2, 4 minus minus 1, the square plus Y minus, Y1 minus Y2 square, square root. 4 plus 1 is 5 square plus 7 minus 3 uh, 4 square square root 9 plus 13 uh, sorry uh, 25 plus 16 it means 35 um, 41 this is for minus 7 point so this is minus 7 so minus 7 minus 10 uh, minus 10 square is 100 so this is going to be 125 square root r is 125 square root r square is 125 so then this is equal 125 so this is the equation of the uh, circle question number five uh, r is given minus 2 1 this given 4 3 and c given minus 7 minus 5 now you can see um, we want to find the equation of the 
circle. This one, two, three, four, some previous sums give a nice guidance that uh, they are step by step. If you look at uh, the question number three, so there are three points and then they ask find perpendicular the find sector then find the center and then the equation the same step now you need to follow the straight ask basically now what you need to do uh, if if we write the step it's like going to be number three question number three find r perpend find the perpendicular fight bisect of rx then find the perpendicular bisect of SC. Then find the center of the circle. And then find the equation. So that's what we need to do. So first of all, now we want to find the uh, perpendicular bisect of RS. So perpendicular bisect of RS. Now we will find the mid, midpoint and the gradient then we can do so midpoint of R S is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so 2 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 this is 1 and this is 2. So 1, 2 is the midpoint. Now I want to find the gradient. MRS gradient of R is equal. So midpoint of R is uh, 1 and 2. And the gradient now. 1 minus y1 minus y2. 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4. Minus 2 minus 6 1 over third I'll take this one L1 then ML times MRS equal one third so ML equal um, ML times MRS is minus 1 so ML equal MRS is one third equal minus so m equal minus 3 y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1 so y minus y1 y minus uh, y1 is 2 and m in minus 3 times x minus x1 y minus 2 minus 3x plus 3 y equal minus 3x plus 5 so this is equation y equal minus 3x plus 5 so we'll keep it y equal minus 3x plus 5 now the same process we are following for ST this is L2 uh, midpoint of ST x1 plus x2 divided by 2 4 plus minus 7 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 then uh, this is going to be minus 3 over 2 and this is going to be minus 1 